Good morning everyone, welcome back to Hearthstone. My name is Rooster and we're back to our bi-daily... Well, is it bi-daily? Is it twice? No, it's not twice daily. I guess it's one, once every two days. Hey, uh... Um, so it's our series, series thing. What, 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 do I, what do I even call this? It's a series, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so well, in this series, we play the Hearts of Another, and today we're playing some sort of totem shaman thing. For um, it, it has it has kind of an aggressive edge, and it has kind of a more mid-range value-ish edge, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. Um, I've copied this list from a guy named Mulligan, if I am. Um, if I'm remembering it correctly, and um, yeah, it it seems promising at the very least. So um, so I'm excited, and um, we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, fortunately, we're not as screwed as an aggro shaman would have been if um, if opposed by a warrior that has a fiery war axe. Um, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, we could actually. This is a good turn to totem golem still, even if he has some sort of um, some sort of whirlwind effect, some sort of one damage effect. I think that's still fine because he would be using it just to get rid of this thing, taking a bunch of face damage. I guess it's okay, and we will have two mana next turn. Um, probably playing the creeper in that case. We're still not entirely sure what we're up against, but I have a feeling this is some kind of control warrior, so this is fine. Um, the creeper is probably a little unexpected. Oh, I think we have to lightning bolt that. Um, but that's okay. I, I, I don't hate lightning bolting that. Um, we could just totem and lightning bolt, to be honest. I don't hate that. Um, well, I... I don't like playing well if we if we overload this turn I guess it's okay. What do we do next turn then? No no, let's let's throw some lightning bolt that thing regardless of what happens. Uh spell power is pretty good. Our opponent might be a little scared of that. And that is fine, just the way I like it. Um and let's try and push that hero power button as often as possible. Alright, so he kills the totem, um, that does mean he kills the uh, the creeper next turn, I guess that's okay. We'll just uh, we'll just throw the knife juggler, well, if we get a taunt totem that's actually pretty good, and the face damage is, uh, is actually kind of negligible. Um, yeah, I was considering not playing the juggler here, but I think it's still... It's still valuable, right? The Taunt Totem is going to be really annoying for him. Yeah, it should still be fine. Um, I missed one damage there, but I think that's okay. Uh, because if I did not get a Taunt Totem, I think I would not have played the Knife Juggler. Um, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, we're, we're starting to lose on cards, and uh, that is something to be concerned about. But he did use a uh, bash on our less valuable cards, so I guess I guess that's fine. Um, so do we just fire elemental face here? I don't like it, but... Um, the, the Feral Spirit makes for a... well... It, it really spreads out the board. I'm not not the biggest fan there, but then again, if he brawls that, and I might be okay with it. Uh, it does mean we cannot fire elemental next turn, so our next turn will be rather weak. Yeah, yeah, that that, that does make me reconsider. Does make me reconsider. All right. Um, let's see how he deals with this. He would need um, something like a shield box, shield slam, or something. Uh, Maybe just hit hit it, uh, but if he hits it, that's fine. Um, I can see this deck starting to lack in card draw pretty soon. A little worrisome for now. Um, what's the best way to deal with that thing? Hmm, that's a great question. I guess we could Lightning Storm it. I don't hate that. Let's Totem first and see what we get. 
I, I don't want to overcommit on the board, so the Argus is probably a bit much. Um, I do think I have to kill that. Um, and I don't like running this in. So I guess we crack it, sure. I guess we'll crack it. The rest of the board is just totems, so Brawl is still uh, sort of okay. I'm really, really satisfied with the stun totem here. That means the Creeper is probably going to get some values mm, relatively soon, perhaps? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm, I'm certainly not brawling anytime soon, so if he just armors up, then, uh, then I just totem and uh, <laughs> keep hitting. I, I have to stock up on cards uh, before he wipes. Alright, he decks. That's, uh, that's still fine with me. And then probably executes. Or shield slams. Ooh, that's that's an ugly situation for him if he needs to revenge that. I'm certainly glad that uh, uh, that I managed to protect the creeper there. All right, so what do we do? We we always press the totem, right? So we we totem first. Uh, healing totem is not that amazing right now. I could Argus, but I don't really have anything to protect right now. Um, I could Feral Spirit. Uh, would, th would he brawl that? I guess he would brawl that. Um, but then I think I like Argus better. And I think I'll... No. No, actually, let's do it this way. I don't want to taunt up the, um, the healing totem. And we do need to put some actual pressure. So playing nothing is not an option. Um, and playing Feral Spirit could have been could have been the answer. Uh, Sylvanas can, yeah, I, I don't know. It's not great, but I, I think I'll uh, I think I'm okay with that. Uh, we do need to get rid of that, so I might just do I just give him a healing totem? Mm, don't like that too much. <coughs> In each case, well, let's just totem first. And we could hope to get a Hex or an Earthshock, that would be possible. A uh, Hex would have been... Hmm. Well, if he brawls, that's that's actually quite awful. So, I, I don't want to play anything important right now. I could just trade in and then play Azure Drake. Uh, give him one of the totems, I guess that's fine. I don't like it. I still don't like it, no. Um, let him do an attack first, and then next turn I will draw a card. Hope to get, uh, hope to get an Earth Shock or a Hex, because this is one of the cards I really need that answer for. Um, so he clears a couple of totems. That's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I'm still okay with this. Shield blocks, all right. I've seen versions of the deck uh, running, um, running Bloodlust also. And that could have been rather effective that turn. Um, so, do I want to run the risk of giving him the Azure Drake? I don't, I don't really like that too much. Um, so I think... Mm, mm. But there's there's three silences in our deck. We're, we're bound to draw one, right? Um, so we totem... And... Do we just not attack here? I guess he steals something if he hits with... Um, no, I think we have to kill it. Let's uh, let's run the risk. Please don't steal my drake. Uh, did not steal the drakes. Oh, he did. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. I'm uh, I'm a little disappointed here. Um, if he stole anything but the drake, we would we would have been fine here. But um, this is this is a little ugly. Nah, uh, our, our board, board isn't really worth much, so so I guess it's okay. And if he then hits the, um, the Argus with the Death Spite, and we can fire Elemental the Drake, and then and, and everything's fine again. No. But this uh, this is a little ugly. And not drawing any silence in uh, in the first half of our deck is um, is also a little disappointing. But uh, yeah, that's that's just the way it goes. That's just the way it goes sometimes. I do wonder what cards he's he's been hanging on to for now. 
because we're not really seeing anything yet. Pretty sure he doesn't know what to expect from us anyway. No. Does that mean... That means he's probably not attacking here. Yeah, he is not. Alright. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're a little late. Hello, friend. Um, hmm. So how we how would we get rid of the boom here? I don't like it. Um, if I get if I get a, hmm. I would like the lightning storm. I guess I can combine the lightning storm with the fire elemental, and then uh, that would mean I had to trade in some guys first. Uh, but that could be okay. That is not... Um, so let's lightning... Uh, we can't lightning storm first, right? No. Um, so that means we're trading this in here so we can always kill the boom. And we're just trying to get lucky. I guess I'll leave that one up. That's, that's fine. That animation is so slow and I, ca I can't count. Me being unable to count is a, is a real problem here. How, how did I think that was going to work? What what went what went wrong here? Oh, I didn't count a totem. Of course, I didn't count a totem. Um, yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. Well, we'll see what happens. He he can't hit both right now. So so I guess that's good. Um, so yeah, he gets the taunt totem. I'm, I'm still making that trade though. Uh, no, no, I'm not making a trade. I've got a fire elemental right here. What am I talking about? Now, uh, we've still got some good stuff coming up, but this, uh, this game isn't going as planned so far. Oh, well, he's preventing the trade here. Alright, alright, I think I'm okay with that. I've still, I still have some good stuff coming up. I'm not terribly worried here. Um, so we're always toteming... Uh, wait, what? Oh my god, the overload. That's horrible. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I didn't count my mana. It's been a while since I've played Shaman, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so bad. That is so bad. How on earth did I think that was going to work out? Mm. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, um, yeah. We're still toteming here, right? No, oh, no, there's the totem totem. Um, so, do we, do we earth shock the sludge vulture? That really doesn't do anything. Let's just place this and then see see what happens. Um, we we just opened up our fire elemental to the big hunter, but that's okay. Um, if he has that, then it's going to get value anyway with uh, with the doctor boom. But oh my gosh, that's so bad. Yeah, I basically gave that away, didn't I? I'm I'm really throwing here. <laughs> There's no excuse. There's no excuse. We could have won this, but that that was horrible. Oh, that's that's lethal next turn. Wow. All right. All right. Well played. That better. Yeah, that's not a tontism. All right. Well played, sir. Whoops. <laughs> uh, I guess he could have killed me right here, couldn't he? No, no. That's that's seven damage I didn't need to take, and then the heal bot, and then we could have made it. Oh my gosh! Why didn't I count that? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, but we'll give um, we'll give it an honest go for uh, for a couple more games, and I can see um, there, there's one card I replaced from the original list, uh, which is a Harrison Jones in the slot where there's now a um, an ancient heal bot, and I was kind of worried about facing freeze mages and um, well, mostly freeze mages, and I guess. Um, I guess aggro shamans, uh, face hunters, and the like. Uh, so I was a little worried about those matchups. I think I'll keep the lightning bolts. 
Uh, but of course, in the Control Warrior matchup, um, that is a really good card. So, I, uh, that might have been the wrong call. I'll, uh, I'll be the first to admit. Um, I don't hate the Totem Golem here still. Let's just get that out there. I, I don't mind not doing anything next turn or just lightning bolting something if she plays. Do I bolt that? Mm, that's a good question. I think I do. Um, how's my next turn then? The next turn is Totem, right? No. In that case I don't. I just kill it and uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I guess I could have bolted that in case... Well, if this is uh, if this is an... What am I saying? If this is Counterspell, that's a little unfortunate, yeah. Um, that's what I'm trying to say here. Um, so... Well, that turned out okay. So, I'm expecting a Freeze Mage here, uh, which means... <coughs> I guess I could have attacked first to not run it into a Counterspell. Yeah, yeah, but Novice, Novice Engineer is really a card that's only played in Freeze Mage, I think. So, expecting um, expecting Heavy Burst, um, so, so uh, Forgotten Torches, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, that is that is fine. You can you can do that. Let's see. Uh, let's just get some damage in here. Um, and I do do I play juggler? We we won't get a blizzard for another turn, so it might be good to get some damage in. Um, and in that case, I don't hate using the two two to trade instead of the two three, which may look a little odd, but. I guess that could be the correct call. Yeah, let's see about that. I, I could just not trade at all. Which might even be better. Yeah, the best best she's going to do is, is trade it into the 2-3 and that's okay with me. We, we do need to kill her at some point and um, better to get started right now. I, I don't like playing the juggler here because it will die to a blizzard next turn but I guess that's fine for now. She could Frost Nova, but that's okay with me. And if she's pinging that, then she's not pinging the 3-1, which is also good news for, for us. So, yeah, yeah, I like this. <laughs> and as expected, the trade over there. Alright, um, so I guess we're drawing... Uh, well, we're attacking first, I'm pretty sure. Yes, and let's play a Drake to have something left. That's not awful. Um, let's see what we get. Not like overextending into a blizzard, but um, we we do have to play something to have something left after the next turn, so that's okay. Um, juggler did four damage. I guess that's acceptable. One knife juggler isn't going to do much more than that uh, against the freeze mage. And if she doesn't have a blizzard here, then uh, then that's pretty good for us. Maybe sheep. Sheep could uh, could work, uh, but if she sheeps, then um, then the Azure Drake can still attack next turn. So that's pretty good. Uh, Nova Doomsayer. Well, I, I hate to disappoint you. If she had a Blizzard, she would definitely have played it here. So I think we're in the clear. Um, we're always hexing that, right? There's there's not much stuff that needs to be hexed in that deck. Yeah, that's uh, that's fine. So we totem. Oh, oh, that's a good juggle. Um, we hex that, and we pass the turn. I guess I could have done it the other way around, and that would have been correct. I, I keep, I keep making this misplace. But at, at least I didn't allow the juggler to uh, to hit the egg light. That would have been awful. Uh, Flame strike could uh, could be a thing, actually. Um, but there's no way I could have done anything productive and and hexed the Doomsayer, right? No. Ooh, we should we should count lethal, by the way. I I didn't quite. Let's see. We ha we have a lot of damage on land. 
Um, and we have one, we have two spell damage on the table, so that means um, lightning bolts are five each, that's ten. And the crackle, crackle can hit for eight. I think we got this. Unless crackle hits for now, no, no, this is this is lethal. It is always lethal. All right. Well, that was easier than expected. Um, and that's the reason why this deck still runs a lot of bursts because, uh, well, people don't expect it. I guess. That's uh, the, I, I guess that's the only reason this uh, this deck has any kind of success is it's because people have no clue what to expect, um, and that's that's still a valid reason to play a deck. It's a, it's like the the camel hunter last month. Um, pe people had no idea what to uh, what to expect. It had a decent matchup against a popular deck, um, and I guess this does decently against druid also. Uh, <laughs> we're not seeing any druids, but never mind that. I will fight with honor. Alright, so um, I think I think Feral Spirit is worth keeping. It's uh, it should be decent against uh, against Paladin specifically. So let's see um, let's see how we'll deal with what I presume is Secret Paladin by now, but um, we could be surprised, of course. So let's see what we're up against. I'm certainly not hoping for um, for mid-range Paladin, which should be kind of awful for this deck. That's uh, that's the main concern with uh, with mid-range kind of shaman decks uh, in general. Is that um, that usually mid-range Paladin then just does the same thing but better, um, and that's uh, <laughs> that's why it has fallen out of favor. I think quickly after um, after Goblin vs. Gnomes hit. And that's when the mech shamans started to emerge. Greetings, friend. Um, and aggro shaman became a thing. So that's a, that's a short pleasant in, uh, in Hearthstone history. Kind of interesting. Ooh, um, I think... Well, it's only turn 2 afterwards. So we could get away with not bolting that, and I would hate to bolt that, because that would lead to a really weak next turn. Um, then again, uh, if we do not kill it th this turn, then playing Feral Spirit next turn means we we're not killing it then either. Mm, I don't like it either way, but I think we have to bolt that. It's just a matter of a weak draw, I guess. Um, so we, we just have to uh, cut our losses, I'd say. Mm, this is even worse. Ah, well, that's, that is a good one, unless it dies to the, to the juggler, of course. But uh, then, then the juggler would, would have just attacked the totem and then it would have done nothing, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. At least we're up against Secret Paladin, so let's uh, let's see what's up with that. No, oh, is he going? He's going face. Okay, okay, that's um, a bold move, I guess. So what do we do here? We could uh, we could totem and flame tongue, uh, and that would kill just the juggler. We could Earthshock the Juggler and uh, and Feral Spirits, and I think that's the move I like best here. Feral Spirit, Earthshock the Juggler, we have three mana next turn, that's really weak. That's a really weak next turn. I don't like that on a, at all. Um, the alternative would be to Flame Tongue Totem and still just kill the juggler. So I have a totem and the juggler. Totem dies to anything. Uh, but I th I guess I can throw away a totem. That's okay. No, oh, Tom Totem is rather good though. That is, uh, that is good luck. Um, but I didn't uh, really have another option. And I did have to get rid of the juggler. So yeah, yeah, that, that's a good result for us. Reporting for duty. 
And that is exactly the reason why we needed to get rid of the juggler. Um, so that's good. Um, we'll have to see how we deal with this. Oh, I'm certainly not help hoping that's not competitive spirit, because that would um, that would really suck. That would really suck. Um, so I guess this is good, and we just hope for the best, right? Uh, I guess that's the best we can do. We, we can not play the juggler and then feral spirit and earth shock the, that thing, but if it's... Let's just hope for the best. I, I do like getting the juggler out of the table. Um, and we'll see what happens here. It, uh, it has the potential to get rid of more stuff on the table. Oh, that's really good. That's really good and a good order too. Yeah, that's exactly what I was worried about and then this was definitely the best move. Because this is an awkward part for him to deal with, unless he has Consecrate, which is still not awful. It's still not awful, if he Consecrates even. Probably floats a mana, so that could allow me to, to grab back the board next turn. I, I do like that. And we have 4 mana next turn and a decent chance of having 2 minions left over. So yeah, yeah, I do like that. And that definitely dies to Earthshock, um, so that makes our turn a little weaker again, but... <laughs> getting rid of the kings with an Earthshock is, um, is still pretty good. No, uh, no complaining about that. Yeah, so he hits that, and then that hits the juggler, I guess. But that should give us the board, unless we have absolutely nothing. I guess that's okay. Yeah, uh, that doesn't matter. It always happens. That always happens. Um, so next turn we could totem and um, and valiant. That sounds pretty good. That does sound pretty good to me. Will lead to some pretty nice trades into his board, I think. He's still not hitting the cling tongue totem. That has to be a mistake. We could also fire elemental and just hope to get some good trades here. No, no, let's uh, let's get the valiant out. There is a lot at I would stake. like that a lot. Okay, so let's see if we get any good trades here. Um, trading this off doesn't sound awful, uh, and I guess we're killing that then. That's uh, that wastes the plate on totem. Um, yeah, that's that's actually not that pretty, but. Um, if the Valiant survives, then we're still in pretty good shape, I'd say. We can just push the button every turn and... Ooh, ooh a Belcher in a Secret Paladin deck. And that, that was still a 3-1. That's still still a pretty decent uh, pretty decent card, I'd say. Ooh, do we play both? That, that sounds a bit greedy. Um, but we... well, we can kill the Belcher. But that's not not too amazing. I, I do I do want to push the button, and I think I well, fire elemental also works. So I could totem first, and then fire elemental, and see what happens. Or or I could just give it. Uh, it's not worth that much. Let's totem first and see what we get. All right. In in that case, I would have definitely won it. Now in this case it's it's actually fine to, to make this trade here. Because the, um, the Valiant is actually protected. <clears throat> so that's good. That uh, that validates my plan, I think. Although we could have had a 4-2, which doesn't really make too much of a difference. Yeah, that's that's acceptable. Uh, I really need a hex now though. Yeah, that's that's the risk of um of Earth shocking the um, Blessing of Kings guy. But we, uh. Mm, do we draw a card? I think we have to try. We have to try to draw a card at the very least. Yeah, if we draw a hex, that's, that's way too good. So we, we have to. We have to at least try. I shouldn't have placed it there, by the way. Um, so let's totem and just see what happens. Um, and I think we just pass. 
He's probably killing the Valiant here, and that does give us the trade with the uh, Fire Elemental. Maybe he kills the Fire Elemental, what do we do in that case? Well, then we've got a pretty good Defender turn, right? So that could be okay. Hmm. Kinda wish I, I saved the Earthshock. Would have been a pretty good trade, and um, that would make me feel a lot better about this board. Oh, is he, is he just going aggressive here? I don't think that's the play. Okay, silence is that. That's probably fine. And kills the elemental. Okay. Okay, so we've got this lightning storm coming up, which is actually pretty good. Um, and should allow us to kill the board. Well, should of course. Uh, we've got we've got spell power, so we're guaranteed a three. Um, so it means if we if I trade in this, then that dies. And then I can see what's left. Do I totem first? I think I totem first, yeah. Just to spread the damage out. Um, so I'm playing this, I'm playing this, and then... I could actually spell power first and then trade the totem in. I would feel a lot better about that. Yeah, so with double spell power, four is guaranteed. Yeah, that seems good. Um, I, that means I cannot afford the totem, though. Um, but I think that's okay. This this is still allowed to attack. So that's good. Let's do it this way. Yeah, he has a sword. That's that's okay. He's allowed to have a sword. I'll never tell. Because his top decks should be a lot weaker than mine. Although Divine Favor is a rather good card. I won't lie. I won't lie. And that's a challenger. That's not a challenger. He would have definitely played a challenger if he had one. I'm pretty sure about that. And he's trading. Alright, alright. I'm okay with trading here. Um, let's see if we can get any attacks in here. Um, yeah, first test for... wait, do I even test for that? I can just test by going face, right? That's a lot. That's a lot safer. Because I was expecting a noble sacrifice. Because if this was, uh, if this was avenge, then I would have liked to know. Oh, so we're doing. Are we? Are we doing that? I'm pretty sure we're doing that, right? Yeah. Yeah, we are. And we are playing that, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I I was caught off guard by the by the overload again, but I think this this is still fine. He can trade that. He can kill the fire elemental. Um, well, killing the fire elemental isn't pretty for him. Well, I'll give him that. Oh, that's a card. Please don't hit the fire elemental. It would make me really really sad here. <clears throat> that would make me really, really sad if you hit the fire elemental layer. Alright, thank you. I think. I, I think <laughs> I think that's a thank you. Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, we pretty much always totem here, right? Yeah. Oh, and there's still the challengers left. Um, so, so do we lightning storm? Mm, am I worried about my health uh, in that case? I guess I'm in kind of an awful position if I don't, right? Yeah. I wonder. I could just, I could just do this. I guess I should have thunder bluffed first. Hmm. I don't know. Um. So do we kill it? Uh, and if we kill it, what do we play? I guess we could double defender, but that seems weak. I guess we don't kill it in that case. That would be awful, though. No, it, it's going to hit something... Well, we could set up for lethal, actually. I don't hate that. Let's just set up for lethal. And, and see what happens. That might have been a bit brave. But we do we do have some crackles left in our deck. Yeah, the, the challengers are something I'm worried about. I'll, I'll, I'll admit. Man, he must have drawn... All the big stuff in this deck. <laughs> I, I don't like 
I don't like to blame to blame the game like that, but um, well, this lightning storm, this lightning storm might be good. Well, we'll see. Ouch! Ouch! That really hurt my feelings. Okay, so how's how's the overload? Can we can we kill him? Can we actually kill him? I don't think we can. No, I'm pretty sure we can't because we can never ha have these these guys hit. Wait, but yes, we can. Oh, I'm a kid. I can just attack here and double Argus, right? Yeah. Because this always kills him. My seal for Argus. Can I? Can I please get my buffs? I'm a little worried about positioning here. <laughs> but when the game's in flux, I I don't like. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure about that call, but uh, but it turned out okay. All right, let's uh, let's give it one more game, shall we? That um, that kind of got me nervous a little bit. I'll be completely honest here. That that kind of got me on the edge of my seat. But man, man, so much so much big stuff, and so very few hexes. That's that's the thing I, I would like to point out there. <laughs> if I had drawn one hex, that game would have been over. Absolutely over. Okay, so against mage, um Yeah, we, we throw away everything, right? We we need some early game. We need some early game here. Uh that looks like some early game. I do like that. Yeah. Yeah, that looks that looks very decent. Right. Um, so let's uh, let's just keep up the pretense and um, play this. She can uh, she can frostbolt it. Um, that's probably fine. I don't like it, but yeah, that's that's just a, it's a thing and it's going to happen anyway, uh, no matter what I play. Um, so next turn, I think we totem. We could bolt it. How bad is Bolt here? She doesn't have a Frost Bolt, um, so what am I trying to say here? If I overload, I have only two mana for next turn, so I could um, I could juggler and then Bolt, but that leaves me with two mana next turn, so then I can probably only Totem. Um, I can Totemic here, and some of the time that's pretty good. I do like that a little bit better. That does leave the juggler plus um, plus lightning bolt for an open for next turn. Yeah, I do think I like that. And let's see what kind of totem we get here. Uh, that's not a bad one. Guarantees the trade for next turn. So let's see. Um, let's see what our opponent does here. Oh, it's a mech mage. Okay. Okay. That's uh, that's kind of unexpected. I guess we have to try and kill that uh, that worker then. So so I'm I'm kind of happy about uh, about my choice last turn. Although next turn will be rather weak. Uh, but I think we always have to try and kill that uh, that Mac Warper. Next turn next turn's going to be dirty. I don't like that. Do we do we have the divine shield here? Does it matter? How much does it matter? She can ping one. Well, if she's going to ping one, I prefer it to not be the knife juggler. So I guess that's okay. She, she can make the trade, and that's also fine with me. Yeah. Yeah, if she if she wants to ping the knife juggler and trade the Anoitron in there, then I still have a 3-1, so that's okay. I don't expect a Flame Waker. Because of um, because of the mech warpers, so probably just no well, a chugger. Chugger's fine. Um, I would appreciate something to play this turn, though. That would that would really make my day. Hey, that's that's something to play at least. Do we actually? Pl uh, yes, yes. Uh, of course, we actually. Mm, we're always hitting this, right? Actually, there's a chance that it hits. No, no. 
I, I would I would prefer it hit face in that case. It's fine. Yo, Tonta, Tim's good again. Alright, alright. Basically forces the ping again. Um, so that's good, I guess. I guess that's good. What do we have for next turn, though? Um, unless we draw... Oh, one drop again. We don't have that much to play. Curve's looking a little awkward. Curve is looking... Oh, that's, that's a good draw, though. I like that. I like that a lot. So we're always playing that, right? So let's uh, let's see what our totem does. Healing totem would be absolutely sweet. Well, and that's not bad either. Um, so I think we're killing the mana worm. I'm pretty sure we're killing the mana worm. She she can ping this. That's fine. I still have a one one left over. That's okay. Um, so for next turn, we're likely to have two minions left. I'm not actually sure about that. She can easily kill... Well, she can easily kill two, and she would require another card to, uh... to kill more than that. So this would result in us having a decent Argus. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Um, I could also Crackle. Um, but that would leave us without the ability to deal with either. Well, to deal with the other one. So I could totem and crackle, but that's a little optimistic. I feel. Let's uh, let's give it at this one. Trade this uh, trade this in, and see what our opponent's up to. Should lead to a pretty good boom next turn, unless our opponent does the same. Kind of predictable. Kind of predictable. I don't know how I'm doing this. Um. So we could double crackle the boom. Uh, we could play our own boom, but that leads to a lot of face damage, I'm afraid. If she has a fireball, are we just entirely screwed? No, not quite, not quite. Um, so we could double crackle the boom and then trade. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Let's just play our own boom and do we trade into the... Uh, we, we, can, we can clear a little if we, if we make this attack. I think I'll risk it. Well, that's that is a good that is a good boom bot, I think. That really incentivizes the trade of the 7-3 into the 7-7, which is acceptable. Um so the 3-1 goes face for a bit, and I think I'm okay with that. So I can trade the boom bot in there if she does not kill it. Uh, and that's okay. Probably trades the boom, but for the ooh. Okay, well, no, the two one survives. That's good. Uh, well, it does not. I guess. I guess it doesn't. Ooh, ow, ow! That hurts. That really hurt my feelings. What are you doing? What are you doing here? Um, we crackle that, right? So we fire elemental and we crackle. I think we do. So we crackle first. Um, do we live if this crackle fails? Hmm. So we crackle this and... Oh no, 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 no. I think we lose if this crackle misses. Um, if this is not looking too pretty for us anyway. Okay, so we do it this way and we see whether we survive for any amount of time. Things should start to pick up, because I do think I have a little more late game than she does. Ooh, ooh, that's a decent trade. That's a very... Oh, oh my god. Ouch. Wrecked. Ow, oh, wow, wow. That really hurt. Um... So we have to get a good crackle here, or we're pretty much dead. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I don't think there's any way. Um, is it... Well, we could Totem Golem, I suppose. I guess that's not unreasonable. We can give ourselves a little more chance of a decent Crackle here. So let's Crackle that. There, and we lost.
I could have crackled the um, shredder, of course. I could have crackled the shredder. Um, but in most occasions I would have still been dead. So I think uh, I think going for the for the three and four here was correct. Yeah, I do think that was great. Oh, I have to, I have to play another game now. I'm, I'm not sorry, guys. Um, I know that some of you may ha may find these videos a little long, but that game was such a downer. <laughs> I mean, oh, is that the same guy? Let's. I don't think so. I don't think it's the same guy. Um, right. So what do we do here? Do we keep the Earth Shock against the Mage? I don't think so. I guess against scientists it's pretty good, pretty damn good. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Just for the chance of scientists, I'm going to keep that one. That could be wrong. That could definitely be wrong. Greetings, Hello. But I do think it could be the right choice here. Okay, so do we juggler here? Uh, no, no, we don't. No, we don't. We totem golem. Because that is way harder to trade with here. Even a Frostbolt, she has to trade in the Mana Worm. Or, or I suppose, ping next turn, but that's still acceptable, I think. Um, so do I juggler next turn? In most occasions, I think I do. What to do? Um, she might get a couple good spells off, but that is probably okay. She's juggling a lot of cards in her hand. Okay, and another mana worm then? No, no, of course not. Oh, huh. interesting. So scientist, eh? Um, I don't really want to trade my juggler for a scientist, to be perfectly honest with you. Can we afford to just Totemir? Well, her, her start has been rather slow. This totem is only going to survive if it's a 1-1, one, one, perhaps, at that. Um, and if I play juggler, then the juggler just dies to this, and then I have nothing to play next turn. I don't like that. No, let's just totem and, uh, and take it on the chin. That, that is definitely going to die. And it's a pity, because I would really like a spell power totem plus earth shock against that thing, but that, that's not going to happen. Ooh. Wait, oh, okay. They're definitely killing that. that that's okay, that's okay. Um, so we could juggler and totem, or... Well, well then she, she gets a juggler. I'm, I'm not sure I like that. Uh, but is there anything we can do about that? Not really, to be perfectly honest here. Um, so juggler and totem then? Yeah, I think I'm okay with this trade now. I, I really want to earth shock that thing, but then then it's still going to be um, it's still going to be a two uh, two one, and it still trades against the, the knife juggler. So yeah, that, that's not really going to work out. So uh, okay, let's let, let's keep in mind there's um, there's a counter spell and there's a mirror entity. So let's see how we uh, how we deal with that. We can we can not totem and defender, so we can give her a discard to Temic. Is that okay? I, wonder. I still don't like it, but we we can't just play nothing this turn. We could crackle this. We could totem crackle earth shock. Still don't like that. Let's summon a totem. See what we get. And make our decisions based on that. So she gets uh, she gets a Tuscar Totemic, that's fine. I think that's fine. I'm, I'm actually not sure anymore. Do we just Totem? I think we just Totem and kill nothing. I, I, could, I could cast a spell here, but that would just get counterspelled, so... I would like to get two spells off in the same turn. For example, a Lightning Storm next turn, but I do expect him to make some trades here. Um, for example, the 3 2 into the 3 2, and that's probably fine. Um, so let's see what happens. That is also acceptable. 
I think next turn is, is a pretty good lightning turn. So if we can just get the Earthshock countered, then I think we should be in a decent shape. Uh, trade that away. All right, we may we may not have to lightning storm if we can just play a fire elemental here. I don't hate that. Um, does give him a random two drop, um, but that could be okay. We could also play tunnel trog and lightning storm, but that might not even kill everything. No, that seems ugly. I I think I like the I like this better. I do like that better. Yes. Um, at least the 4-3 up, yeah. and that's a decent trade against the fire elemental, but the same same would apply in the other case. Um, and now she only gets one attack, which probably will be against the fire elemental, but in that case she also has to ping it, so she has a much weaker turn in, uh, in return. And if she arcane intellects, then she has to have a one mana spell, or... Yeah, yeah, she pretty much needs a, ma a one mana spell here, or or she could frost build it, I suppose, and then kill a totem. I don't know. This seems pretty really good. <clears throat> seems pretty good for me. Oh, that's a good trade. I like that. Um, so in that case, uh, there's still a counter spell up, but that's okay with me. Um, so we could tunnel truck, we could... Mm, don't like that too much. I would like to push the button as much as possible. So let's get a totem up. And play the Azure Drake. That's a lot of spell power, so she should be kind of afraid of that. <coughs> mm, and that means Lightning Storm is rather devastating next turn, as long as we can circumvent the counter spell. Alright, that's extra spell damage for her, that's okay I suppose, and that means we can now... Well, we can just Lightning Bolt that. So what do we want to get countered? Does this Overload still trigger? I don't think Overload triggers if I get a spell countered. Uh, so Lightning Bolt get, gets rid of that, and that's, uh, that's a good deal, so I should try to get the counter spell off this turn. So that means probably Earth Shocking. Um, that seems okay. Yeah, that seems okay. I'm not overloaded, right? No. So this should work. And then we... Do it this way. Um, if there's a flame strike in that deck, that's a little unfortunate. But it's still just Totems and one Argus. That's, uh, that's mighty fine. If she flame strikes this, then I'm then I'm pretty happy with that with that situation. We should be able to take control of the board with what we have here. We're two cards short, but we um, but we have a decent board, and that is definitely worth something. Um, and a guaranteed taunt totem for what, whatever that's worth. All right, so bring it on, I'd say. What will it be? I'm not sure what to expect here. I um, was kind of, uh, kind of expecting a Dr. Boom last turn, but that didn't happen. So I don't think she has that. Um, and that means... that means what's coming now? A Shredder or something? Okay, well you can have a Tunnel Truck, that's fine with me. Because I'm, uh, I'm really expecting that to be a Mirror Entity. So, so let's keep that in mind. Let's not play a Fire Elemental now. Wow, that's really aggressive. Yes. I realize I'm, I'm mixing up a lot of adjectives. Let's see what we get here. Uh, we could just fire elemental face. Don't hate that. Um, we can we can make some trades. This uh, this is basically free. This, this is free. Um, and I don't have to play a totem here, so I guess Fire Elemental Face is fine. If she's fireballing me, then, then I'll have uh, Fire Elemental Face. That's that's a decent trade. She could Flame Strike here, that's still, that's still fine. 
I have a boom coming up and then she does nothing this turn. Or she's just hoping to kill us in two turns, and that's that's a real risk. Does she have a spell? She has a spell. Okay, but I have a lightning storm with one spell power. Um, and he has one fireball. That is acceptable. Okay, so we always um, just lightning storm here, right? Um, and if it hits for four, then I think I'll make a trade. Actually, do I? Do I make a trade? I, I kind of want to play Boom here. Can I just kill her? I have nine, I have 14. No, no, I cannot. Um, I kind of do want to trade in some totems just to make some room. Let's do that. I don't really care too much about the taunt right now. And this allows me to play Boom here, and that's also pretty good. Oh, I totally could have played the um, Valiant and traded in one totem instead. It might have been better, even. For some reason, I kind of forgot that I had three, uh, I had three totems on the board. Would that have been lethal? Would that have actually been... No, no, I couldn't... Yes, I could. Hmm. Oh, I couldn't crackle. Wait, what? Really now? Really? Really now? Well, that's a good card. That's a good card. Um, we cannot crackle for lethal. Okay, so I guess we totem and we feral spirits. And we could crackle face, I guess. I, I, don't, I kind of don't want to crackle face here. If we can play Valiant and then crackle... Wait, wait, we can we can Valiant and then Hero Power, but that's just just two damage and we're overloaded next turn, so that doesn't work. <coughs> she has double frostbolt, really? No oh, no no she doesn't. She doesn't. Okay. That's kind of kinda of fine. Oh my gosh. That doesn't work. Can we crackle that for any I don't think so. Then we can't crackle anymore. Um, if we if we get spell power, no, that doesn't work. Um, we can't do all of that. But we're not immediately dead if this is not a taunt item. But it is, so that's pretty nice. <coughs> uh, we're not we're not immediately dead if um, if that wasn't a taunt totem. Um, but that's, uh, <laughs> that's not very reassuring. Oh my gosh, that Deathwing. And again, no Hex. I'm, I'm, I'm really not play I'm not drawing those Hexes when I need it. But, we seem to be okay. Oh, oh man. Oh man. <laughs> but those were some acceptable, acceptable top decks, if, if not Hex. They were certainly, um, certainly worthwhile. Oh wow. That was tight, um, but that was a nice deck. Right, hope you enjoyed it too. If you have any suggestions on what to play next for the, uh, for the next week, probably, because the next expansion is hitting soon, and then we're uh, back to the drawing board. But um, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below if you have any suggestions, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.